Maybe the best way to go from that is, is to ask you, sir, about your own reporting chain of command. You, you have characterized your investigation as independent, um, but you're not independent, are you? You're, you're part of the department. You're, uh, you're, you're subject to the authority of, uh, of, of the department, and you're uh, movable, reassignable at any time. Is that, is that correct? Of course. I do not have the independence of the OAG or the procurement ombudsman, for example, um, but I, I do have the space and time to conduct my work independently within the agency. Okay, you... You, you would like us to believe that, that you have space and time to act independently, but substantively in terms of your role, you are not independent. There are no independent attributes about your role. And you even told us that you're informally providing information to your superiors at CBSA on an ongoing basis. To wrap up, you are please. not an independent investigator. Uh, you are their investigator, subject to the authority structure within CBSA. Do you think that compromises the integrity of your investigation? Very, very brief answer, please. Um, it is normal for departments to investigate matters that occurred within their departments.